Hello, in this video, we will study the working and root table formation of RIP and OSPF, using NetSim. We will give a short introduction to the protocols and then explain their working through example simulations in NetSim. Routing is the task of finding a path from a sender to a desired destination. RIP is a routing protocol based on the Bellman Ford, or distance vector, algorithm. Distance vector algorithms are based on the exchange of only a small amount of information using RIP messages. Each router keeps information, in the form of a route table, about all of the destinations in the system. Each entry in this routing table includes the next router to which data for the destination is to be sent. In addition, it includes a metric measuring the total distance to the destination. In NetSim, the root table entries are destination, next hop, and metric. NetSim uses hop count as the metric in RIP. The distance vector algorithm then computes the optimal route. A lower hop count implies a more optimal, better, path. We now open the RIP experiment in NetSim. Open NetSim. Click on Experiments. Expand the Internet Works section. And then expand the Routing and Switching section. And then click on Root Table Formation in RIP and OSPF. And then click on RIP Sample. Step 1. A network scenario is designed in the NetSim GUI comprising of two wired nodes, two L2 switches, and seven routers. Step 2. Go to Router 1 Properties. Expand the application layer. The routing protocol is set as RIP along with its associated parameters. The routing protocol parameter is global. That means changing router 1 will affect all the other routers. So, in all the routers, the routing protocol is now set as RIP. Step 3. Click on App 1 Custom. And then click on the Application tab present on the right side. Expand the Application Properties. The transport protocol is set to UDP. A custom application is generated from wired node 10 which is the source node. To wired node 11 which is the destination node. Step 4. You can enable the packet trace from the configure reports tab. Using packet trace we can track the route that the packets have chosen to reach the destination based on the routing information protocol RIP that is set. Step 5. Click on Run button on top toolbar. Run the simulation for 100 seconds. After the simulation is completed, you can see that the NetSim result dashboard will be loaded. Let us analyze the output of the RIP protocol simulation. Open the packet trace using the Open Packet Trace option in the result dashboard. Filter the first column, packet ID to 1. And observe the shortest path chosen by the RIP protocol from wired node 10 to wired node 11 is Wired node 10 to L2 switch 8 L2 switch 8 to router 1 Router 1 to router 7 Router 7 to router 6 Router 6 to L2 switch 9 L2 switch 9 to wired node 11. As you can see in the NetSim scenario the number of hops is less in the lower path. So the RIP has chosen the shortest path as the lower path via router 7. You can also see the hop count as metrics in the result dashboard. In the result dashboard in the left panel, expand the IP forwarding table option. 
Click on the router 1. Routing table of router 1 will be opened. Click on the detailed view option to view the metrics chosen by RIP protocol. You can observe that since the number of hops is 2. The metric is shown as 2 for the destination in routing table of router 1. This completes the RIP section. Next let us look at OSPF. OSPF is a link state routing protocol. OSPF is designed to efficiently and accurately exchange routing information between routers in large and complex networks. OSPF uses Digxtra's algorithm to calculate the shortest path to a destination, taking into account the link costs. The route formation of OSPF protocol includes seven key steps that facilitate network convergence and path determination. 1. Hello Packet Exchange OSPF speaking routers send hello packets on all OSPF enabled interfaces. Routers become neighbors if they agree on specific parameters in these hello packets. 2. Adjacency formation, adjacencies, virtual point-to-point -point links, are established between certain neighbors based on router and network types determined during hello exchanges. 3. Link state advertisements, LSA's routers send LSA's over adjacencies, describing their links, neighbors, and link states. 4. LSA Propagation Each router receiving an LSA stores it in its link state database and shares a copy with all other neighbors. 5. Database Synchronization Through LSA flooding, all routers create identical link state databases within an area. 6. SPF Algorithm Execution Using the complete database, routers run the shortest path first. SPF, algorithm to compute loop-free paths to all known destinations, forming the SPF tree. 7. Route Table Creation, routers build their routing tables based on the shortest paths calculated in the SPF tree. We now open the OSPF experiment in NetSim. Open NetSim. Click on Experiments. Expand the Internet Works section. And then expand the Routing and Switching section. And then click on Route Table Formation in RIP and OSPF. And then click on OSPF Sample. The same scenario used for RIP is now open. Step 1. Go to Router 1 Properties. Expand the application layer. The routing protocol is set as OSPF, along with its associated parameters. The routing protocol parameter is global. That means changing Router 1 will affect all the other routers. So, in all the routers, the routing protocol is now set as OSPF. Step 3. Go to Router 7 Properties. Expand Application Layer. And then expand OSPF. And then expand the Interface 2. And set the output cost to 2000. Step 4. Click on App 1 Custom. And then click on the Application tab present on the right side. Expand the Application Properties. In the Application Properties all properties are same as RIP sample. But one parameter different from what was set in RIP that is. Start time is set to 40 seconds. This time is usually set to be greater than the time taken for OSPF convergence. Step 5. You can enable the packet trace from the Configure Reports tab. Using packet trace we can track the route that the packets have chosen to reach the destination based on the OSPF protocol that is set. 
Step 6. Click on Run button on top toolbar. Run the simulation for 100 seconds. After the simulation is completed, you can see that the NetSim result dashboard will be loaded. Let us analyze the output of the OSPF protocol simulation. Open the packet trace using the Open Packet Trace option in the result dashboard. Filter the first column, packet ID to 1. And observe the shortest path chosen by the OSPF protocol from wired node 10 to wired node 11 is wired node 10 to L2 switch 8 to router 1 to router 2 to router 3 to router 4 to router 5 to router 6 to L2 switch 9 to wired node 11 as you can see in the NetSim scenario the total link cost is lower along the lower path. The default link cost is set to 100 on router device interfaces. The total link cost will be the sum of the link costs of all outgoing interfaces of a router. Therefore, OSPF has selected the shortest path based on these link costs. This concludes the RIP and OSPF experiment.